Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification and that way you won't miss any time I publish a new video. Also to mention, I started a new YouTube channel, Laura Foss Videos 2. So be sure to go across there, check it out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe over on that end as well. All right, so what are we going to be making today? Well, today we'll be making something a little different. We're going to be making soursop talcari. I'm sure you've never heard of that, but let's give it a try. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to peel and cut up our soursop. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse out my soursop and I'll be back. I'm getting problems with the seeds being in the way because we have to take all the seeds but trying to cut through it with the seeds being there is a little bit of a challenge all right so what we're going to do is work on taking all the seeds so let me do that and then i'll be back after i remove all the seeds and then i'll show you how i'm cutting it up Okay, so I tried my best to remove all of the visible seeds. So now I'm gonna cut my soursop into plank sizes. Um, it may still have some seeds inside that I will have to navigate, but I'm just gonna cut it um, lengthwise. So I, I can already feel a seed here. So as you go through, just um, remove the seeds as you come across them. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this now in half. So this is about the size that I'm going to be. This is about the size that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I have cut up my soursop, as you can see here. Now guys, to do this, you cannot use a soft soursop. The soursop has to be firm in order for us to be able to make this recipe. So I've cut up my soursop here and I'll take out all the seeds. So let's get, um, let's get to cooking our soursop. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of oil to our pan here. And we're gonna be adding in two chopped up garlic. So that's two garlic cloves that we're gonna add to this. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of amchar masala. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of curry powder. The curry powder blend that I'm using is um, cumin and coriander. 
We're just gonna fry this up here in the oil. We're gonna cook our curry for about two minutes. So to help in the cooking process, I'm gonna be adding in one, um, I'm gonna, sorry. To help in the cooking process, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water. Can you see me now? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna cook this for about two minutes. Now I should ask, can you see me now? Okay, so I'm gonna add in my sour soap now. Okay, I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of um, green seasoning. I will leave a link in the description showing you how I make my green seasoning. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of salt. Okay, I'm also going to be adding some sugar. So you will add sugar to taste. So I'm going to add some now and then adjust if I need to add more then I will add more later. But let's start off. Let's start off with that. So I'm just going to bring this up to a boil and then cover and then turn down my heat so this can cook and the sauce can thicken up. What I'm also gonna add is some um, shadow benny as well. If you can't get shadow benny where you are and you want a similar flavor profile another, um, name for shadow benny is Kulancho. Um, but if you can't get shadow benny where you are, you don't need to use it, you can omit it. Um, there is another herb that has a similar flavor profile to Shadow Bene, which is cilantro, but you don't have to use it. I mean, if you don't have access to it, just, just forget about it. Okay, so let me just get this up to a boil and then I'm gonna cover it. Okay, so as you can see, it's bubbling here. So I'm now gonna cover my pot and I'm gonna turn down my heat and allow this to thicken up. So we will have to taste the sauce uh, at some point to decide whether we need to add more sugar or not. Okay guys, so I allowed my um, sauce to dry down so that's what you want to basically do you just allow it to to thicken up of course like I said you would taste to see if you needed to add more sugar or not but basically once your sauce thickens up and dries down your sauce of talcari is ready so I hope you enjoyed this inspirational video don't forget to share it with your family and friends don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.